episode. From the football field to the podcast studio, Jason Kelsey's journey showcases the unpredictable nature of entertainment, demonstrating that even amidst Super Bowl fever, there's room for delightful detours into unexpected collaborations. Believe it or not, Taylor Swift isn't a topic of conversation in the Chiefs locker room. If you didn't go online you would have no idea that he's in a relationship with Taylor Swift, Beach, 46, admitted of the talented tight end. Kelsey doesn't talk about it, players don't talk about it. You'd think you'd hear the songs at practice and all the guys getting on him, this and that, but that there's such a high amount of respect for each other in this locker room. While chatter about Swift and Kelsey might have fizzled out by now, especially as the Chiefs prepare for Super Bowl 58 on Sunday, February 11, there was no denying the highly publicized romance wasn't the talk of the team when news the two were an item first came to light. Honestly, after the first week or two, it never gets brought up, it never gets mentioned, Beach explained before pointing out the NFL's controversial coverage of Swift during games. The football executive concluded, the only time that we realize it is when we're looking at our phones during the TV timeout and CBS is zooming in on Taylor, you're reminded that they're together. But Travis is a straight pro and the guys treat him like that. Swift and Kelsey first shocked the world when they went public with their relationship in September 2023. And while his love for the cruel summer singer seems stronger than ever, Kelsey confirmed he's motivated and still locked in ahead of his big-time matchup against the San Francisco 49er in Las Vegas, Nevada. This weekend, calling it the biggest game of my life during Wednesday's episode of his new Heights podcast, which he co-hosts with his older brother, Philadelphia Eagles center Jason Kelsey. We've got one week, man, if we do what we need to do and we play our game and we find a way to win this game, we can party and have fun in Vegas for the rest of our lives. You've got to focus on this game for what is it, five more days now, he noted. And that's the biggest focus. Let all the excitement. There will be plenty of Super Bowls for you to attend for the festivities when you're done playing the game, or still playing, and I think everybody is pretty motivated and still locked in on the task in hand, and it's exciting being out here in Vegas, I'll tell you that. During Super Bowl 58's opening night, Travis Kelsey addressed questions about his relationship with Taylor Swift including engagement rumors. And can we talk about how this year was totally Taylor's? Time Magazine crowned her person of the year, and not just for her epic career moves, her love life had its roller coaster too. First, she called it quits with British movie star Joe Alwyn, but then she found love in the arms of NFL heartthrob Travis Kelsey. So Taylor Swift is head over heels for Travis Kelsey, and it's kicked off in the cutest way when he playfully called her out for turning him down at the Eras tour. Forget the assumption that their first date was that public appearance at the Arrowhead Stadium in September, it turns out it was much more of a private affair. Talking about their initial rendezvous, Swift spilled the beans, saying, It all started when Travis very adorably put me on blast on his podcast, which I thought was metal as hell. If you're up on uh, Taylor Swift concerts, there are friendship bracelets, and I received a bunch of them being there, but I wanted to give Taylor Swift one with my number. All right, now, that's a misconnection, right? Now, Jason was curious, asking if Kelsey meant his jersey number or phone number. You know which one, Kelsey replied. She doesn't meet anybody and she doesn't, or at least she didn't want to meet me. So I um, I took a personal, but it was an unbelievable show. I've only seen Arrowhead filled like that for Chiefs games with that much excitement. And um, yeah, everybody was dressed in pink and purple going crazy for her. It was wild. It was a wild show. Then in September 2023, the rumors started buzzing. And can we talk about how this year was totally Taylor's? Time Magazine crowned her person of the year. And not just for her epic career moves, her love life had its roller coaster too. First, she called it quits with British movie star Joe Alwyn, but then she found love in the arms of NFL heartthrob Travis Kelsey. So Taylor Swift is head over heels for Travis Kelsey, and it's kicked off in the cutest way when he playfully called her out for turning him down at the Eras tour. Forget the assumption that their first date was that public appearance at the Arrowhead Stadium in September. It turns out it was much more of a private affair. Talking about their initial rendezvous, Swift spilled the beans, saying, it all started when Travis very adorably put me on blast on his podcast, which I thought was metal as hell. If you're, of what? If you're up on uh, Taylor Swift concerts, there are friendship bracelets, and I received a bunch of them being there, but I wanted to give Taylor Swift one with my number on it. All right, now, that's a misconnection, right? Now, Jason was curious, asking if Kelsey meant his jersey number or phone number. No one actually knows what's going on, especially when you have my brother, Jason Kelsey, on live television telling people both sides. He doesn't know, it's true, this and that. As for his relationship status with Swift, Travis gets straight to the point. 
Then, September 24th, Swift takes up Kelsey's invitation and attends his game in Kansas City. Photographs captured her in the stands, seated alongside his mom. Later revelations suggested that it was her first meeting with his family, and everything went smoothly. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> oh my God! Taylor! Taylor Swift will spend New Year's Eve in the arms of her boyfriend Travis Kelsey after watching his Kansas City Chiefs showdown with the Cincinnati Bengals on Sunday at Arrowhead Stadium. Got a ring. This is Kelsey after the fake punt. Right around that time, he threw his helmet on the sideline. It is later shown Taylor consoling Brittany after the team losing. Taylor and Travis seem leaving together, and it looks like she already calmed him down. Mahomes retreats, sets, fires, incomplete, no flags. Bryant, the coverage on Kelsey. Taylor Swift freaks out as Travis Kelsey gets pushed on the field. Yep. Taylor Swift in the holiday spirit, cheering on her beau Travis Kelsey on Christmas Day. I'm just here to have fun. It was a merry swift miss as the singer arrived to Arrowhead Stadium alongside her parents, Andrea and Scott, as well as her brother Austin, who was incognito in a Santa suit. So smooth, and Pacheco gets the Chiefs on the board. Taylor is loving it in Kansas City. Tay supported her man from the stands as Travis's team, the Kansas City Chiefs, took on the Las Vegas Raider. How about it? Oh, Taylor Swift is on hand for boyfriend Travis Kelsey's latest NFL playoff game. It did not take long for him to give her a reason to celebrate. Swift and others in a suite in the corner of the stadium could be seen cheering and jumping up and down after Kelsey caught a 19-yard TD pass from Patrick Mahomes midway through the first quarter of the AFC Championship game between their Kansas City Chiefs and the Baltimore Ravens. Brittany Mahomes, who is married to Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes, shared two group photos in her Instagram story that featured several other partners of NFL players, including Swift. Went there, did that, on to the next, Mahomes captioned the photos, adding a fire emote. Swift was joined by friends old and new at Sunday's divisional playoff game. In one pic shared by Mahomes, Swift posed with one arm around the shoulders of Kylie Kelsey, the wife of Eagles center Jason Kelsey, who is, of course, is the brother of Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey who has been romantically linked to Swift for several months now. Taylor appears to mouth love you to her man who was wearing a reputation-like chain necklace. Swift was repping Trav from head to finger. She was rocking his hat, Chiefs pinned it, ringed with Trav's number, and a Taylor and Travis wove custom four and a half carat diamond and yellow gold friendship tennis bracelet worth over six grand. She wore my bracelet, she wore my bracelet. We really busted it out in like days. Today, only E.T. spoke with Wove's CEO and the designer who said she sent it to Trav over the holidays after seeing this. You made her a bracelet? Yeah, I wanted to give Taylor Swift one with my number on it. He's like, yeah, this is beautiful. I'd love to gift 